Assalamu alaikum dear students. I welcome you back on part 2 of Cellular Desperation Lectionary. In this video, you will be able to understand about these terms that are going to be used in ATP. You will start from ATP, then you will end it with ATP synthase. That is an enzyme which is involved in ATP production. So let's talk about it in more details. In this picture, you can recognize that uh, it is a step-by-step -step reaction. At the end, you will have a storage. So, first of all, in order to understand different parts of this picture, you should memorize and understand these definitions. For ATP, that is here. This is the result of these reactions, the reaction of the adenosine and phosphate groups. So, for ATP, we can define that ATP is uh, the abbreviation for adenosine triphosphate. Also, it is known as ATP, and it is a molecule that carries energy within the cells. It is the main energy currency of the cell. Uh, so, how it is formed? It is formed when different um, adenosines will form a reaction with the phosphate groups. It means when one phosphate group attaches with the adenosine, it will form adenosine monophosphate it means it possesses only one group of phosphates but when it attaches the another extra uh, phosphate group it will produce adp that is called adenosine diphosphate at the final stage it will produce the atp or the energy currency that is going to be used by the cells in order to function uh, so for now you understand what is atp what is phosphate group and adenosine you should be familiar with this term energy currency Energy currency is only the energy type that enables the cells to function. So it means different type of uh, feeding materials that we eat, they are needed to be converted into ATP. So this is the responsibility of cellular respiration to exchange the form of the different macromolecules into usable form of energy or energy currency that is called ATP or adenosine triphosphate. So, uh, this adenosine triphosphate is going to be uh, produced during cellular respiration. But in cellular respiration, uh, this uh, reaction will use another macromolecules that we will study it uh, in the term of energy storage. It means uh, energy storage could be taught as space for a safe keeping of goods. So, it means when photosynthesis produces uh, sugar it should be converted into different type of uh, feeding materials like fruits vegetables that we eat in daily feedings then it will be digested to our digestive system and it will be carried out uh, into different uh, spaces cells by circulatory system of our body then in the form of ETP in order to be used by the cells to function pretty well so Let's talk about the functions that or reactions that produce the ATP. In more details, you will study in different parts of this video. But in this video, you should be well familiar with these uh, terms: glycolysis. Glycolysis is means gly means uh, glycogen. Lysis means to split. It means glycolysis is metabolic pathway that converts glucose into uh, pyruvate. Uh, you will be familiar with pyruvate also, but uh, let's first be familiar with the Krebs cycle. Uh, as you see in this picture, you can uh, see different type of ions and different type of structures. Uh, so these uh, different circulations of different ions uh, that we will study in shadow respiration, and the recognition is important that your terms should be familiar by your own selves in order to understand the exact meaning of cellular respiration. So for a definition of a Krebs cycle, we can say that uh, it comes after the link reaction and provides the hydrogen and electron needed for the electron transport chain. What is electron carrier? As you see these uh, hydrogen, uh, hydrogen ions and these things that I'm pointing with a laser. So uh, these are called an electron carriers. It means they are able to um, transport the electrons when the carbohydrates and hydrogens are uh, 
exported from uh, the Golicus during different cellular respiration that mm, causes the Golicus to split into uh, different parts. So the proton is hydrogen ion, as you see here, at the outer membrane or between the inner membrane of the mitochondria that you see these uh, ions are existing there so we will study in more detail but you should be familiar uh, with simple definitions in this video a hydrogen ion is created when a hydrogen atom loses or gains an electron what is facilitated diffusion you should be familiar with this uh, term in cell and cell environment would, uh, when we studied uh, in previous videos that um, facilitated diffusions means that it is facilitated in order to transport different ions and molecules so this function is carried out to transport proteins uh, these uh, complex respiratories or proteins that you see they are uh, acting like a channel that uh, imports and exports different type of molecules and ions uh, and at the final stage this is ATP synthase uh, ATP synthase is an enzyme that ATP is produced. Here, this picture is the enzyme or ATP synthase enzyme, which causes the ATP to be produced through different reactions of the uh, cellular respiration. Thank you so much. See you on part 3.